السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی آر ڈسکسنگ دا کیمیکل پراپرٹیز آف امائنس سو فار وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ کوشچن ایز فار ایز دا امائنز آر کنسیڈر دیٹ از دا بیسٹی آف امائنس ادر ایلیفیٹک اور ایرومیٹک then we have discussed the second important chemical property that is reaction with electrophiles in that we have discussed the five now in the lecture number 10th we have started some other important properties of the uh, amines which do not follow the mechanism that is reaction with electrophiles they follow different mechanisms on this point and in the under this heading we have discussed one important reaction that is reaction with Grignard's reagent <clears throat> i have mentioned you have learned the thing that when amines react with the 1 degree and 2 degree amines react with Grignard's reagent they form alkenes and in these in this reaction 1 degree and 2 degree amines they act as bronze to deciduous as they do near the edge plus now here we will discuss a second important reaction reaction with phosgene that is carbonyl chloride it is a poisonous gas phosgene now we will see how amines reacts with the phosgene remember this point we will take the case of uh, one degree amine one degree amine first if you have or nh2 this is one degree amine this is the one degree amine plus phosgene c double bond o cl this is carbonyl chloride c double bond o cl here scl will come out it means that here there is another scl hence another 1 degree amine will be utilized another amine 1 degree amine this is also 1 degree amine it means that another hcl will come out resulting into the formation of minus twice hcl what you will get we will have or nh c double bond o nh it is or remember this one if you compare this very compound with the urea you know the structure of urea if you have the if you know the structure of urea urea is nh2 c double bond o nh2 if you compare this compound with this one you will it is clear that one, this is urea this is also urea the only difference is that hydrogen has been replaced by the or hydrogen has been replaced by the or you can say it is di alkyl substituted urea it is di alkyl substituted actually it is urea but two substituents two ors have been introduced in it hence it is the di substituted urea remember this point you can say it is symmetric this power half is if you divide it into this this half will be equal to this half it means that it is same same means symmetric di substituted di substituted urea it means that one degree amines react with phosgene they result into the formation of di substituted urea remember this point now we will see the case of 2 degree amines first we we'll mention the reactions then we will mention the things now we'll take the case of 2 degree amines 2 degree amine is this one or 2nh plus you will have phosgene c double bond o cl2 we will have another amine or nh2 sorry we have to take secondary amine or 2 nh minus twice hcl here it is hcl here it is hcl it is 2 degree amine it is 2 degree amine dear students what will have you will get also the urea substitute urea but it will be a little bit different you will have now 
tetra substituted you will have n c double bond o n you will have r remember this point here we have in this case we have only one r but here we have two r's we can say it is tetra substituted urea it is urea it is a substituted urea but we have two to four substituents we can say it is tetra substituted urea tetra substituted urea it is clear that one degree and two degree ions react with the phosgene they result into the formation of substituted ureas here you have the di substituted here you have the tetra substituted if you now see the case of uh, three degree amines, three degree amines will not undergo this reaction because of unavailability of hydrogen. If you look on the structure of the three degree amine, this is three degree amine. If you treat it with the phosgene, there will be no reaction. There will be no reaction. It means that only one degree and two degree Amines react with the phosgene, resulting into the formation of substituted ureas. You can write here one degree and two degree amines reacts with reacts with one degree and two degree amines reacts with phosgene phosgene. Phosgene resulting into the formation of resulting into the formation of resulting into the formation of substituted ureas resulting into the formation of substituted ureas substituted ureas in case of uh, this one one degree you will have di substituted and in case of uh, this uh, secondary amine you will have tetra substituted you will remember this point this is the reaction with the phosgene how amines react with the phosgene you have to remember this point how they react with the phosgene now we have the third important reaction reaction with carbon disulfide the third reaction is reaction with carbon disulfide reaction with carbon disulfide reaction with carbon disulfide remember this point this is the third reaction ch2 carbon disulfide uh, we will see what happens in case of this reaction we take first case of one degree amine <coughs> We will see what happens in case of one degree amine. <clears throat> I will mention here case of one degree aliphatic amines. Aliphatic amines. In the same way, you have to discuss case of one degree aromatic amines. Then we will see whether the two degree amines react or not. If react, what happens? We have to discuss this thing. We take the for example, you have case of one degree aliphatic amine. We have to take one degree aliphatic amine or NH2. This. this is the lone pair. You will have carbon disulfide. Sulfur is more electronegative than the carbon. What will happen? Del minus. I will uh, tell you the mechanism of this reaction, how the reaction proceeds. This lone pair, it attacks the carbon. Here you will have this way simple mechanism. You will have or NH2 charge will be plus. You will it will form bond with the carbon. It will have double bond S and we have S minus. This is the way. It cannot sustain plus charge. There will be shift of electron towards the nitrogen. H plus will come out. That will combine with sulfur. What will happen? What will happen? Or NH C double bond S SH. This very compound, this very intermediate is known as alkyl 
this is alkai dithyu 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 carbamic acid carbamic acid i want to find what is the name of this very compound here it is alkai dithyu in organic chemistry sulfur is known as thyu there are two sulfur atoms it will be dithyu carbamic acid on this one this functional group nhc double bond this is carbamic acid you can simply remember it is alkyl dithyo carbamic acid then what you have to do you have to decompose this intermediate you have to decompose the alkyl dithyo carbamic acid you have to decompose it with mercury chloride or nh c double bond s sh it is this one alkyl dithyo carbamic acid you have to decompose it with mercury chloride hgcl2 you have to decompose it with mercury chloride on this one what happens this hydrogen will come here this is the way it will come here this is the way what you will have you will have alkyl iso thiocyanate this is the compound you are getting here or n double bond c double bond s alkyl iso thiocyanate its name is alkyl iso because nitrogen is here then thiocyanate thiocyanate its name is alkyl iso thiocyanate plus what you will get plus you will have AGS, it is a black precipitate. AGS, mercuric sulfide. Mercuric sulfide plus you will have two times HCl. This is the reaction. How one degree aliphatic amines react with the carbon disulfide? You initially get alkyl diethylcobamic acid. Then, which upon decomposition yields alkyl isothiocyanate. These alkyl isothiocyanate have characteristic smell. It means that they have the smell, characteristic smell of mustard oil. Mustard oil. Remove this one. This alkyl isothiocyanate have the smell of mustard oil. Hence, this reaction, whole reaction is known as, you have to remember this reaction, half minus, half minus mustard oil reaction. It is known as half minus mustard oil reaction. Why it is known as Hoffman's mustard oil reaction? Because the alkyl isothiocyanate formed have the smell of mustard oil. Hence, this reaction is known as Hoffman's mustard oil reaction. What is the significance of this uh, Hoffman's mustard oil reaction? It can be used as a test. Used as a test. It can be used as a test to identify to identify one degree aliphatic amines. One degree aliphatic. It can be used as a test to identify, to distinguish one degree aliphatic amines. You have an important topic in this amine that is how you can distinguish one degree, two degree, three degree amines. This is the test for uh, one degree aliphatic amines. This test is known as Hoffman mustard oil test here. You have to mention these things now. You can mention these things. You can write one degree aliphatic amines. In simple words, you can write one degree aliphatic, one degree aliphatic amines reacts with one degree aliphatic amines reacts with one degree aliphatic amines reacts with carbon disulfide carbon disulfide thereby initially forming thereby initially forming thereby initially forming alkyl ya aapko yahan pe yaad rakhna hai alkyl dithyu 
डाइथायो कार्बेनिक एसिड कार्बेनिक एसिड इतना आपको याद रखना है अल्काइल डाइथायो कार्बेनिक एसिड विच अपॉन डिकम्पोजिशन इसकी हम डिकम्पोजिशन करते हैं विच अपॉन डिकम्पोजिशन विथ विच अपॉन डिकम्पोजिशन विथ विच अपॉन डिकम्पोजिशन विथ मर्क्यूरी क्लोराइड एच जी सी एल टू प्लस टू ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट है इट इज मर्क्यूरिक इफ इट इज मर्क्यूरस देन इट विल बी प्लस वन मर्क्यूरी क्लोराइड फाइनली फॉर्मिंग फाइनली फॉर्मिंग फाइनली फॉर्मिंग अलकाइल यू हैव टू मैंशन दिस प्रोडक्ट अलकाइल आइसो थायो साइनेट आइसो थायो साइनेट अलकाइल आइसो थायो साइनेट विच हैज द विच हैज द स्मेल विच हैज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक स्मेल ऑफ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक स्मेल ऑफ smell of mustard oil mustard oil which has the characteristic smell of mustard oil this reaction is known as you have to mention this reaction is known as this reaction is known as is kon kya kehte hain hoffman's mustard oil reaction this reaction is known as Hoffman's mustard oil reaction. You can mention it. Hoffman's Hoffman's mustard oil mustard oil reaction mustard oil reaction. This reaction is known as Hoffman's mustard oil reaction. Yeah, Hoffman's mustard oil. It can this reaction can be used. This what the significance of this? This reaction I have already mentioned can be used can be used to distinguish can be used to distinguish to distinguish one degree aliphatic amine. You have to mention these things. What is the significance of this? When we discuss when we will discuss the test to distinguish. the three types of amines it will be the one hoffman's mustard oil reaction now we will see what happens in case of 1 degree aromatic amines we will see how the aromatic 1 degree amines reacts how the 1 degree aromatic amines reacts you can see case of 1 degree aromatic amines aromatic amines now we will see how aromatic amine degree amines reacts with reacts with the carbon disulfide let's try that is take the case of aniline c6h5 you have nh2 this is aniline 1 degree aromatic amine you will have carbon disulfide you have c you will have carbon disulfide Double bond S, double bond S. This is aniline. I will take another aniline molecule C six H five N H. This is the case. These two hydrogen atoms they react with sulfur. This will be the case. What you will have? You will have this one minus H two S. What you will have? and you will have here also potassium hydroxide you have to use the potassium hydroxide this is the catch potassium hydroxide we will see what will happen you will have now c6h5 this molecule then we have nh it can form bond with the carbon because there are two double bonds one will be with nitrogen another will be with ni Proton on this one. It means that it will form a bond with the carbon. It has the double bond. This thing will remain same. Here are two double bonds. Two bonds. One will form bond with this nitrogen. Another will form this nitrogen. You will have this one. NH. 
you will have c c is h five. You will have this one. Plus what you will have, you can have the potassium potassium sulfide. You will have the sulfur will come out potassium sulfide. Two hydrogens will combine with this. You will have potassium sulfide plus two times water molecule. Don't bother about this. You have to concentrate upon this. We will see what is the name of this one. We will see the name of this one. Dear students, I have already mentioned this is the urea. This is the urea. If instead of oxygen we use the sulfur, it becomes thiourea. It becomes thiourea because we have introduced the sulfur. It is thiourea. If you compare this one, this it is just like thiourea, but only difference is here. Here, nitrogen plus phenyl here, nitrogen plus phenyl here. Then what will be the name? It is N. It will be N dash. ये इस साइड का एन है ये इस साइड का एन है यू कैन से एन एन डैश डाइफिनाइल यू विल हैव यू कैन कंपेयर इट इज थायो यूरिया द ओनली डिफरेंस एन पे फिनाइल है एन पे फिनाइल देन व्हाट इज द नेम एन एन डाइफिनाइल थायो यूरिया थायो यूरिया दिस द कंपाउंड व्हिच यू हैव टू रिमेंबर एन एन डैश डाइफिनाइल थायो यूरिया But it can be decomposed further. If you take this one, C six is H five, NH, NH, C double bond O, NH. Sorry, यहाँ पे सल्फर है. यहाँ पे सल्फर है. You will have C six is H five. This is the way. You can bring it as decomposition with acidic medium HCl. You can bring it as decomposition with the acidic medium. What happens? You can write here how the reaction proceeds. Here, here H is. Dear student, you have to simply remember this hydride bond will be here. This is the way. This will be here. This is the way. Here, minus will be here. This H plus will be here. It becomes aniline. It becomes. First, we see the main product. The main product is C six is H five. C C is H five N double bond C double bond S. It is phenyl phenyl isothiocyanate isothiocyanate. अगर यहाँ पे ऑक्सीजन होगा फिर then it will be phenyl isocyanate. But यहाँ पे सल्फर है it will be phenyl isothiocyanate. It is name will be phenyl iso thiocyanate from this point and what you will have you have aniline now plus you will get aniline c c is h5 and h2 and h2 but remember dear students the medium is acidic this aniline will undergo protonation c c is h5 and h2 it will undergo protonation we have already read h plus will protonate this h plus and cl minus it will protonate this what it will give what we will get you will have c c is h5 and h3 plus cl aniline chloride it is name is aniline chloride it means that In instead of aniline, what will be the product? You will have aniline chloride. In instead of this aniline, you can mention the product is C C is H five N H three plus. We will have Cl minus. Its name is aniline chloride. Yeah, the aniline formed. H plus that will go here. It will become aniline. Medium is acidic. It form. It becomes aniline. Chloride. It means that one degree aromatic amine reacts with carbon disulfide, forming initially forming N N diphenyl thiourea, which upon decomposition with HCl forms finally phenyl iso thiocyanate. You can mention this one degree aromatic amines. One degree aromatic amines. One degree aromatic amine is react with. One degree aromatic amine is react with CS two carbon disulfide. Initially forming. Initially forming. You have to mention. Initially forming. I have already mentioned it. N N dash. 
डाइफिनाइल डाइफिनाइल थायोयूरिया एंड एंड आई डाइफिनाइल थायोयूरिया व्हिच अपॉन डिकंपोजिशन व्हिच अपॉन डिकंपोजिशन व्हिच अपॉन डिकंपोजिशन येल्स व्हिच अपॉन डिकंपोजिशन विद एसएल विद एसएल yields yields phenyl isothiocyanate phenyl isothiocyanate not fine this is the case of 1 uh, degree aliphatic and 1 degree aromatic amines with carbon disulfide 1 degree aliphatic and one degree aromatic amines with carbon now you will have the third one case of two degree amines case of two degree amine we will see how the two degree amines react you will have or to nh nitrogen ha it can undergo the reaction it can under tertiary amines will not undergo this reaction because that does not have the free hydrogen you will have carbon disulfide we will have the carbon disulfide del plus del minus it will attack this carbon again this point what you will have o2 and h charge will be plus c double bond s s minus it cannot tolerate plus charge what will happen h plus will go there you will have dialkyl dialkyl n c double bond s sh in case of 1 degree it was alkyl dithio al yahan pe ek hi tha alkyl dithio carbamic acid ye kya hai it is dialkyl it is dialkyl yahan pe alkyl do hai ta dialkyl dithio dithio carbamic acid carbamic acid of this in that case there was another hydrogen on the nitrogen but here there is no hydrogen hence it cannot be decomposed further you have to mention it cannot be decomposed further agar hum ye lenge dialkyl thio carbamic acid ab isko wahan pe decomposition hoti hai with the mercury chloride yahan pe further decomposition possible nahi hai because yahan pe nitrogen nahi hai if you want to decompose it with hgcl2 there will be no decomposition at this point what you remember here you can remember 2 degree amines amines reacts with reacts with cs2 carbon disulfide carbon disulfide there by forming thereby forming thereby forming dialkyl dithio dialkyl dithio carbamic acid dialkyl dithio carbamic acid which cannot be further decomposed which cannot be further decomposed further decomposed which cannot be further decomposed with hgcl2 mercuric chloride yeah then three degree amines they do not react because they do not have the hydrogen on the nitrogen ya koi ra yaad rakhna now we will see the important reaction that is listed in the text very important reaction and uh, when you will discuss that how we can distinguish 1 degree 2 degree amines this reaction will come again in the form of a test that test is known as nitrous acid test yaad rakhna this is a very important reaction reaction with nitrous acid fourth reaction reaction with this is a very important reaction reaction with nitrous acid nitrous hno2 याद रखना रिएक्शन विद नाइट्रस एसिड मैं यहां पे आपको बोलूंगा जो नाइट्रस एसिड है HNO3 है इट इज अनस्टेबल 
एच एन ओ टू इज अनस्टेब ये मैंने आपको दो तीन बार बोला है क्लास्ट्रूम लेक्चर नाइट्रस एसिड इज अनस्टेब हेनस इट इज प्रिपेयर इन सी टू हेनस इट इज प्रिपेयर इन हेनस इट इज प्रिपेयर इन Remember this point S O T U C two. What it means within the reaction mixture, within the reaction mixture. इतना आपको याद रखना. How we can? अगर आपको nitrous acid कहीं पे भी जरूरत है, आपको इसको पहले reaction mixture में ही बनाना है reaction mixture. How you can prepare it in the reaction mixture? ये reaction आपको याद रखना है. Sodium nitrite लेना है. Na NO two प्लस आपको लेना है एसियल हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर इट इन द रिएक्शन मिक्सर बाय द एक्शन ऑफ एसियल ऑन सोडियम नाइट्राइट ये यहां पे निकलेगा व्हाट यू विल हैव यू विल हैव यू विल हैव माइनस एन एसियल यहां पे एन एसियल एंड यू गेट द नाइट्रस एसिड यू हैव रिमेंबर हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर द नाइट्रस एसिड इन द रिएक्शन मिक्सर बाय द एक्शन ऑफ एस सी एल ऑन सोडियम नाइट्राइट इतना आपको याद रखना है इट इज अनस्टेबल वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर इन द सी टू इन द रिएक्शन मिक्सचर बाय द एक्शन ऑफ एस सी एल ऑन सोडियम नाइट्राइट इट इज नॉट नाइट्राइट इट इज सोडियम नाइट्राइट एंड यू गेट द नाइट्रस एसिड ऑन दिस पॉइंट दिस इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट यू हैव टू मैंशन नाउ एज फार एज द थ्री क्लासेज ऑफ अमाइन आर कंसिडर्ड वन डिग्री टू डिग्री एंड थ्री डिग्री दे रिएक्ट डिफरेंटली विद द नाइट्रस एसिड Hence, this reaction with nitrous acid can be used as a test to to distinguish one degree, two degree, and three degree. Amine is this. I have told you that this reaction is called nitrous acid. Test. You have to write the first point. The three classes of amines. The three classes of the three classes of amines. Amines that is one degree, two degree, and three degree. reacts differently reacts differently reacts differently with nitrous acid reacts differently with nitrous acid remember this point hence ye yaad rakhna aapko this the point hence this react hence reaction with nitrous acid hence reaction with nitrous acid hno2 can be used as a test can be used as a test ye aapko yaad rakhna can be used as a test to distinguish to distinguish can be used as a test to distinguish can be used as a test under the name you can mention here under the name nitrous acid test under the name Under the name nitrous acid test, nitrous acid test can be used as a test under the name nitrous acid test to distinguish, to distinguish one degree, two degree, and three degree amines. Yeah, now this is the very important point. Since the three classes of amines, you will see in the reaction they react differently. Hence, this reaction with nitrous acid can be used as a test under the name nitrous acid test to distinguish one degree, two degree, and three degree. Amines. When we discuss the topic, how you can distinguish one degree, two degree, and three degree amines, we will find Hopf this Hopf Hopfman's mustard oil reaction. You will find carbyl amine reaction. You will find this test also that is nitrous acid test. now we will see how the three types of amines reacts with nitrous acid how the three types of amines reacts differently with the nitrous acid remember this point we will see now how they will react with the nitrous acid <coughs> we will have we will write case of 1 degree amines case of One degree amines. Here we will discuss both aliphatic and aromatic. Case of one degree amines. Let us take the case of first one. Case of aromatic. Case of one degree aromatic amine. Case of one degree aromatic 
amines. We will see how the 1 degree aromatic amines react with the nitrous acid. You first know the, how you get the nitrous acid by the action of sodium nitride and as, uh, by the action of HCl on sodium nitride. What you get you will have nitrous acid HNO2 plus NaCl. Now we will see 1 degree amine. Let us say anilene. Anilene. जब हमने सैंडमियोरस रिएक्शन पढ़ी है, जब हमने गेट्रेमेंस रिएक्शन पढ़ी है, वहाँ पे हमको आया था बेंजीन डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट। ये इस यूनिट का लास्ट टॉपिक है, बेंजीन डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट। How we can prepare? We have already mentioned, but you have to discuss. When we discuss that, we have to discuss the mechanism of diazotization. How the benzene diazonium salt is being formed. Here you have to simply remember the reaction. You have the aniline. It is aniline. It is one degree aromatic amine. It is one degree aromatic. It reacts with nitrous acid, HNO2. It reacts with nitrous acid, but medium is acidic, HCl. Here, temperature 273 to 278 Kelvin. Then, when we manufacture of phenol, kiya, preparation of phenol, kiya, mainne, aapko pe bola, if the temperature exceeds 278, the benzene and salt banta hai, that will be automatically converted into the phenol. When you treat the aniline, that is a one degree aromatic amine with the nitrous acid medium is acidic. You buy the mechanism, you get we have to discuss that mechanism also later on. You will have benzene diazonium chloride. Yahan pe plus hota hai, yahan pe minus hota hai. It is known as benzene. Benzene diazonium. Hamne pada hai Sandmeyer reaction, Gatterman reaction, Ball Scheinman reaction. We have discussed this. Benzene diazonium nitrogen ko azo kehte hain. Yahan pe do hai diazonium chloride. Benzene diazonium chloride. Remember this point. But you have to remember the point. If the temperature exceeds 278 Kelvin. अगर ज़्यादा होगा at this time ये जो benzene diazonium salt it will be converted into the phenol ये reaction आप phenol में देखोगे preparation of phenol में हमने पढ़ी है when the temperature is greater than 278 the benzene diazonium salt it will be automatically converted into the phenol ये reaction वहाँ पे देखना preparation of phenol में now what you can remember here one degree aromatic amine reacts with nitrous acid result into the formation of arene diazonium salt. In general, it is arene. Yeah, you can say benzene diazonium salt. This process of conversion, this process of conversion of one degree aromatic amine into the benzene diazonium salt, is ko hum kehte hai diazotization. Diazot. Isi ka mechanism humko later on padna hai. Mechanism of how this reaction takes place. This reaction is known as diazotization. You can mention here. You can mention here one degree aromatic amines. One degree aromatic amines. We have here any bean key example here. React with react with nitrous acid at a temperature of temperature mention karma hai at a temperature of 273 to 278 Kelvin, thereby forming thereby forming thereby forming arene diazonium salt general mein hai benzene ke baad i will make use here the word arene arene diazonium salt arene diazonium salt arene diazonium salt remember this point you can mention here the process of conversion ye aapko later on padhna bhi hai the process of Conversion of the process of conversion of one degree aromatic amine, one degree aromatic amine into benzene diazonium salt, into benzene diazonium salt, diazonium salt upon treatment with upon treatment with upon treatment with upon treatment with nitrous acid with nitrous acid is known as is known as diazotization 
इसको हम क्या कहते हैं डाइजो टाइजेशन ये याद रखना इज नोन एज डाइजो टाइजेशन लेटर ऑन वेन वी डिस्कस द फोर्थ टॉपिक दैट इज बेनजीन दिनम सॉल्ट वहां पर पहले आपको पढ़ना है मैकेनिज्म ऑफ डाइजो टाइजेशन ये याद रखना वो हाउ यू कैन डिफाइन द डाइजोटाइजेशन द प्रोसेस इन विच वन डिग्री एरोमेटिक अमाइन इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू बेनजीन डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट इसको हम कहते हैं डाइजोटाइजेशन वी आर डिस्कसिंग द reaction with nitrous acid how the three types of amine is react is differently first we have started case of 1 degree amine isme humne liya tha first part aromatic amine now we will take case of ya reaction with aliphatic reaction of reaction of reaction of 1 degree aliphatic amine हम देखेंगे अब वन डिग्री एरोमेटिक हमने पढ़ा है बेनजीन डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट बनते हैं बट हम देखेंगे रिएक्शन ऑफ वन डिग्री एलिफेटिक अमाइन वन डिग्री एलिफेटिक अमाइन ये रिएक्शन हमने पढ़ी है प्रेपरेशन ऑफ अल्कोहल में अगर हम वन डिग्री एलिफेटिक अमाइन लेंगे सी एच थ्री सी एच टू एन एच टू दिस इज वन डिग्री अमाइन वन डिग्री एलिफेटिक अमाइन अगर हम इसका ट्रीट इसके ट्रीट में वेन यू ट्रीट विद नाइट्रस एसिड एच एनओ टू पॉइंट वट हैपन्स फिर मैंने नाइट्रस एसिड का स्ट्रक्चर भी दिखाया आपको एन यू विल हैव डबल बॉन्ड ओ वी विल हैव ओ एच दिस इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ नाइट्रस एसिड फिर मैंने आपको ये बोला नाइट्रस एसिड को ऐसा रखिए एन एन ओ एच ओ एच एंड वी हैव द ओ सिंपल नाइट्रोजन गैस विल कम आउट अल्कोहल विल बी फॉर्मड वाटर विल बी फॉर्मड यू विल हैव द अल्कोहल सी एच थ्री सी एच टू ओ एच प्लस नाइट्रोजन गैस प्लस वाटर ये हमने रिएक्शन अलॉन्ग विद मैकेनिज्म कहां पे पड़ी है वहां पे देखना कि प्रेपरेशन ऑफ अल्कोहल इट मीन दैट वन डिग्री एलिफेटिक अमाइन इज रिएक्ट विद नाइट्रस एसिड रिजल्टिंग इन टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अल्कोहल मगर यहाँ पे आपको दूसरा पॉइंट याद रखना है नो अदर कलास लिबरेट रिलीज इज नाइट्रोजन गैस इन दिस रिएक्शन नाइट्रोजन गैस गैट इज रिलीज नो अदर कलास रिलीज इज नाइट्रोजन गैस हेन्स दिस रिएक्शन कैन बी यूज एज अ टेस्ट टू डिस्टिंग वन डिग्री एलिफेटिक If you have to distinguish one degree aliphatic, you can use this test because here nitrogen gas is released, and in any other, in no other, in no other amine type of amine, nitrogen gas gets not released. It's got to be kept in mind. What you can say, one degree aliphatic amine reacts with nitrous acid. You can mention one degree aliphatic, one degree aliphatic amine. reacts with reacts with nitrous acid thereby forming thereby forming alcohol thereby forming alcohol thereby forming alcohol along with the liberation of along with the liberation of along with the liberation of nitrogen गैस ये आपको याद रखना दिस रिएक्शन दिस रिएक्शन कैन बी यूज एज अ टेस्ट दिस रिएक्शन कैन बी यूज एज अ टेस्ट यूज एज अ टेस्ट टू डिस्टिंग टू डिस्टिंग वन डिग्री एलिफेटिक अमाइन and the user to distinguish one degree aliphatic amines aliphatic amines why because since no other no other class of amine no other type of amine no other type of amine yields yields nitrogen gas yeah Hence, this reaction can be used as a test to distinguish one degree aliphatic amines. Remember this point. Now you can take the case of two degree. This was the case of one degree amines, both one degree aliphatic and both one degree aromatic amines. Now we will see. Yeah, have a couple of three heading. Then you have case of two degree amines. Two degree amines. We'll see now how the two-degree amines react. 
of the 2 degree a minus case of 2 degree a minus you have to remember here both aliphatic and aromatic 2 degree a minus show the same reaction only one reaction on this point on this point how the reaction proceeds you will have let us say or 2 nh it is secondary amine what happens plus nitrous acid nitrous acid ka structure ye hai oh this is nitrous acid H will come out in the form of water. What you will have? Is ko hum kehte hain or to N N double bond O N nitroso N O ka naam hai nitroso nitronium nahi hai nitronium ho gaya N O two ye ho gaya nitroso. Fir iska naam kya aega N nit N pe hai nitroso N nitroso amine N nitroso Amine, you can take the reaction now. CH3 whole twice NH. This is dimethyl amine. Its name kya hai? Dimethyl amine. Ye aliphatic two degree hai. This is two degree aliphatic. Take the same reaction. Take the same reaction. You will have CH3 whole twice N. And double bond. Oh, यहाँ पे minus water निकलेगा. यहाँ पे minus water निक. यहाँ पे क्या नाम क्या आएगा? N nitroso, N nitroso dimethyl amine. इसका नाम क्या है? Dimethyl amine. जो parent का नाम है, वही आएगा यहाँ पे भी है. N nitroso dimethyl amine. This is two degree aliphatic. Now we will see two degree aromatic. We will see two degree aromatic. You will have benzene phenyl C six H five N H. यहाँ पे मैं रखूँगा C H three. इसका नाम क्या है? N methyl aniline. N पे methyl है. Then it is aniline. N methyl aniline. Take this. It is reaction with the nitrous acid. This is nitrous acid. Water will come out. What you will have? You will have C six H five. You will have N CH three N double bond. Oh, what will be the name? N nitroso N nitroso N methyl aniline. Its name is what? N nitroso N methyl aniline. What's that? Well, you have to remember both two degree aliphatic and aromatic amines react with nitrous acid, resulting into the formation of N nitroso N N nitroso compounds. You can say N nitroso amines. You can say N nitroso amines. वहाँ पे लिखिए both two degree aliphatic and aromatic amines. Both two degree aliphatic and aromatic amines react with react with nitrous acid. React with nitrous acid. Reacts with nitrous acid, thereby forming, thereby forming, thereby forming N nitroso amines, N nitroso amines, N nitroso amines. Remember this point, N nitroso amines. Dear students, these are insoluble in water. I will tell you certain points here. Insoluble in water they separate out when insoluble in water what happens they separate out as yellow oily yellow oily yellow oily it separates out on the surface as yellow oily layer it means that it will be it is insoluble in the water the second thing, it is lighter than the water. It will come out on the surface. It will come out as yellow oily layer on the surface. What will happen? It means that it will have yellow color. This is the point you have to mention. If the N nitroso amines, they separate out as yellow oily layer. Run this point. If you treat the N nitroso amine, अब यहाँ पे टेस्ट है ये याद रखना. ये जो है एन नाइट्रोसो अमाइन की कहानी ये है ये है येलो ऑयली लेयर येलो ऑयली लेयर व्हाट हैपेंस इफ यू ट्रीट इट विद फिनॉल इफ यू ट्रीट इट विद फिनॉल एंड फ्यू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ कंसंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड दिस इज द टेस्ट हियर 
is the test here when you treat the n nitrosamines with the phenol and in presence of few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid the color changes to green yahan pe main test dikhaunga it means pehle color kya tha yellow when you treat the phenol in presence of this the color changes to green remember this point the color changes to green if you add alkali to it अब जो रिएक्शन होगी ग्रीन कलर आ गए अगर हम इसको सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड ऐड करेंगे अल्कली ऐड करेंगे द कलर चेंजेस टू बिल्यू द कलर चेंजेस टू व्हेन अपॉन डाइल्यूशन नाउ इफ यू ऐड मोर वाटर इनटू द मीडियम इनटू द सॉल्यूशन अपॉन डाइल्यूशन द कलर फाइनली चेंजेस टू रेड ये आपको याद रखना है व्हाट इज द कलर ऑफ द एन नाइट्रोसोमाइन इज येलो when treated with phenol in presence of few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid the color changes to green upon treatment with alkali the color changes to blue upon dilution the color changes to red ye jo color change reaction hai this reaction is known as lebermann's 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 nitroso reaction isko kya kehte hain lebermann's nitroso reaction and this lebermann's nitroso reaction can be used to distinguish two degree amine it is the test for two degree amine remember this point you have to remember here the n nitroso amines the n nitroso amines nitroso amines separate out separate rate out as separate out as how they separate out separate out as neutral yellow neutral yellow oily compound on the surface on the surface ye aapko yaad rakhna hai on the surface upon treatment अपॉन देयर ट्रीटमेंट जब हम किन के साथ ट्रीट करेंगे अपॉन देयर ट्रीटमेंट विथ फिनॉल अपॉन देयर ट्रीटमेंट विथ फिनॉल एंड इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ प्रेजेंस ऑफ फ्यू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ फ्यू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ कंसंट्रेटेड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड एच टू एसओ फोर द कलर चेंजेस टू ग्रीन The color changes to green. ये याद रखना आपको द कलर चेंजेस टू ग्रीन द कलर चेंजेस टू ग्रीन अपॉन ट्रीटमेंट विद अलकली अपॉन ट्रीटमेंट विद अलकली अपॉन ट्रीटमेंट विद अलकली द कलर चेंजेस टू बिल्यू कलर changes to blue color changes to finally upon dilution finally upon dilution color color the color changes to red changes to red color changes to red this reaction कौन सी रिएक्शन है कलर चेंज रिएक्शन कलर चेंज रिएक्शन दिस रिएक्शन इज नोन एज इज नोन एज इज नोन एज लेबरमैन लेबरमैन नाइट्रोसो रिएक्शन ये आपको याद रखना है नाइट्रोसो रिएक्शन विच कैन बी यूज एज अ टेस्ट विच कैन बी यूज as a test to distinguish which can be used as a test to to distinguish distinguish two degree amines inshallah what happens with the three degree amines aliphatic and aromatic three degree amines inshallah we discuss that will topic inshallah in the next lecture fi amanillah